Well, howdy folks. Hey, I hope you're doing okay today. I'm going to do a quick home repair today and it's going to be on my roof. I don't like getting on the roof. I don't know about you. In fact, I just had my roof done and it killed me to pay someone to do it when I've done hundreds of these in the past and now my knees and everything just, I don't know. I can't spend a lot of time up there. But I'm going to do a quick repair on my furnace vent because the other day I was picking up limbs in the front yard after a storm went through and I saw this laying in the grass. Now this is not a hat. It looks like a part that R2-D2 left when he left the repair shop. So I don't know. But anyway, my furnace cap blew off. It's old. You can see on here that it's even got hail dents in it from a previous hailstorm, and I never changed it. So I went to Home Depot the other day and I bought this one. And I wasn't gonna do this video, but I thought, you know, someone out there might wanna see how this is done. This is for a seven to nine inch vent pipe, and so it should work. I don't know what tools I need. I know for this one, for some reason, it takes a slotted screw. I don't know why it's not Phillips, but okay, whatever. To limit my trips up and down the ladder, there are a few tools that I'm just going to take with me. And of course, I'm going to take a screwdriver, and I got one that I can change the bits from Phillips to slotted. If you don't have that one, I would take both of them up there. In fact, I'm taking this bigger slotted one up there because I don't know what's holding the other piece on, the old piece. Might have to pry it off, might have to do something to it. I don't know. I haven't gone up and looked yet. Got me a little pair of channel locks, and I probably won't need them, but just in case, I'm gonna take some tin snips, because if I gotta cut that sucker off, I'm gonna cut that sucker off. So here we go. We're gonna go up on the roof, get this replaced. Should be simple, but you know how that goes sometimes. All right, so here we are at the vent. This is, of course, you can see the top's off. We don't want water getting down in there. So this one's the original one, I think, to the house, so it's not screwed on or anything. I think it's gonna be pretty easy to get off, but I'm getting ready to find out here. So I should be able to twist this one off. Yep, see it's turning there. And it's got these grooves here. So I'm gonna cheat a little bit and see if I can spread this out. And of course the water heater's on, so there's a lot of heat coming out of here. There we go. So that was easy to get off. And I don't know how yours will be, but it's probably gonna be just as easy. So this new one then will go on. And I hope it's not too big. It's really amazing how expensive these things are. This thing right here was almost 75 bucks at Home Depot. Isn't that crazy? It said seven to nine inches and this should should be an eight inch pipe, so. And I don't know if it's gonna work or not. I'm almost as tight as I can go. Yep, this is too big. I'm gonna have to take it back. I got everything tightened down. Guess this pipe wasn't as big as I thought it was gonna be. I really don't wanna have to go back to the store. So, a little bit of good news and some bad news. I'm gonna do the bad news first. My old one, or the other one that I had, the new one, was too big for this. That's an eight inch pipe. It said seven to nine, and it wouldn't go small enough. So that's the bad news. I had to run back to Home Depot, and exchange it, get me another one. The good news is, this one was $23 cheaper. And it better not be too small. All right, let's see what we, did, what we got here. Well, this one's for five to seven inches really weird that that other one didn't fit but I just saved 23 bucks counting tax went from 73 something to fifty dollars and something so it's a blessing in disguise just lost some time all right let's see what happens here there we go now we're on there so now it's just a matter of tightening all these screws up. You want to get this down low enough where it will tighten around your pipe good. Because you don't want it blowing off. 
I have a little bit of a line there I'm going to use from the old pipe. Now this has these square nuts on here and you can hold it with your thumb and it'll also go against the vent and help hold it. So you really don't need pliers once you're going to crank it down super duper tight. And if I can get it all in with one screw, I'm going to. I'm not going to tighten all three of them up if I don't have to. We'll see how it goes. You want to make sure it's tight enough that the wind will not blow it off. I'm going to go ahead and tighten this one down. Makes it difficult with it being a slotted screw. I wish they'd have put Phillips on there. I don't know why they didn't. It is 2023. I guess I am going to tighten all three of them after all. Well, there is more bad news. It's later in the day, the sun's been out, and this roof is hot. Yeah, that's on there good. Okay, so there you have it. And you know, it would have been a really quick job if it wasn't for the fact I had the wrong one to start with. So the other trip to Home Depot made it take a little bit longer, but you saw that it really didn't take that long to change it. So if you have a problem with one of these and you can get on your roof, as long as it's not too steep, you can get up there and change it yourself. Save you a little bit of cash because these things are expensive. Sonny, Sonny had to get in the video somehow and he's got his chicken that he loves. So hey, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below and um, get, leave me comments if you want. I hope you found this video useful and I pray that God bless you and I hope you have a wonderful day.